on the tenth day. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I got the same flipping Funko. What's up Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So today we are going to be doing a Dragon Ball Z Funko Advent Calendar unboxing. Now to be honest, I'm a little sad because I wanted to have 24 days of Dragon Ball Z. But because I got much love for you guys and I know a lot of you guys want to see if this box is worth it, we're going to be unboxing it for you guys today. But before we get into it, I just want to announce that I am having a Black Friday sale on SaiyanArmy.com, 25% off all programs. So go and check it out. Link will be down below in the description. All right, so this is a 24 piece advent calendar. I got this for $40. To be honest, I've never opened an advent calendar in my life. So maybe after this one, I'll buy another one, not a Dragon Ball one, but something else and do it. Comment down below if you guys do advent calendars or if it's like a tradition within your family to do an advent calendar and Let's open it up. So from the outside already, we can already tell we're gonna get Vegeta, Goku, Master Roshi, and King Kai. So I think you open it. Oh yeah, there's a little Velcro. And bam, okay. Day one. Let's open this little door. All right, let's see who we got. So day one, we got Goku. Just so you guys can get a size comparison. This is the normal Goku Funko. This is the Advent Calendar Funko. They look pretty the same though. Like as far as style and art, it looks pretty much exactly the same. He has all these writings on the bottom of him, which I don't like at all. It's like Funko LLC. It's all the trademarks and stuff. It's so weird. It's like under his chin and it's all over like his chin and the lower part of his neck. On the Funko, they actually put it on the bottom of his foot where you can't see it. But on this one, they just put it like all over his chin. All right, so day two, who do we got? I'm assuming, oh, I'm assuming Vegeta is day two, but we will see. We got Green Funko. Oh, it's Gohan. <laughs> it's Gohan with the mullet. This is a rare form of Gohan. I don't even know if Funko brought back the mullet Gohan. I know Funko has been doing everything they can to make money. I just saw a Funko recently with Vegeta cooking a bunch of eggs, holding a baby chick chicken. Comment down below if you're a kid that had a mullet growing up. My brother had a mullet growing up. Thank God I didn't. All right, and these Funkos will not stand, so they're gonna lie. Day three, Piccolo. I like this Piccolo. This shade of green is really nice. I like how he's doing his special beam cannon. Oh, and he's missing an arm. This is cool. Okay, I just noticed the details. So this is probably the fight where he's fighting Nappa. And it kind of seems like these are a lot of the old school moments, which I'm a huge fan of because this is bringing back lots of memories. And this is so flipping cool that they didn't include Piccolo's arm in this thing. This is before he did the day four. All right. I already saw it, but oh, okay. I didn't erase it. Okay, so it is Vegeta as I thought it'd be but it's Vegeta in monkey form. And this is super cool. I remember this moment when the armor, like you thought the armor was gonna rip and tear and he's gonna be a naked monkey running around, but the armor like expands to like times a million, which I thought was super cool, Saiyan armor. On the fifth day of Christmas, Shenron gave to me a Master Roshi doing two piece signs. This Funko box is nice. I'm liking it so far. All these Funkos are good quality. Besides the little name brand on the chin, like, like this pose is very aesthetic so far. I think it's worth the $40. Let's guess what we're gonna get next. So Master Roshi next, then after Master Roshi, it's gonna be maybe Nappa? I don't know. Hmm. 20? Krillin. Oh yeah, Krillin, you're right. Yeah, we're missing the bald friend. How could I forget? My bald best friend. Oh, and it's not. It's not. It is. King Kai. Now this King Kai, I absolutely hate. They put two dongs on his face. What is this? It's not that big. It looks really weird. It looks like he has two dicks on his face. And I hate this King Kai. And the paint quality, it looks like it's kind of, looks homemade almost. All right, on the seventh day of Christmas, 
Shenron gave to me. Do we have our bald friend? No! Oh, Bubbles! <laughs> Yo, we got Bubbles before we got Krillin. Where is Krillin? This is a cute as fuck Bubbles though. And this one stands up good too, I think. On the eighth day of Christmas. We got another green. Is it our bald friend that we're finally gonna get? Oh, we got him! <laughs> we got our bald friend. I believe the Funko looks exactly like him. He has a little blemish on the top of his head, if you can see the little black spot. Some like paint got on top of his head. Outside of that, I mean, he just looks like typical Krillin. So we finally got our bald friend. We got pretty much everyone from Dragon Ball. Uh, am I, are we missing him? Oh, the Cricket. King Kai's Cricket guy. I don't know if he is big enough. Nah, he, they gotta have him. If they have bubbles, they gotta have the Cricket, right? Let's see. Day number nine. Shenron gives me the Cricket. All right, I'm trying not to look at him because you can kind of see through the bag. It's Vegeta again. This is probably his like most popular stance ever. So we got two Vegetas before we got two Gokus. I mean, granted, one of them was Monkey Vegeta, but still. Also because these are... <laughs> I just knocked down a bunch of them. Also because these are Funkles, they are very top heavy. So they, they're not the best to stand up and showcase. I just tried to stand up all of them and they're so hard to balance. But anyways, next guy, on the 10th day of Christmas, I'm assuming, Frieza? Are we at Frieza yet? Hmm. Oh, yeah, Bulma. Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi and Bulma. I think Bulma before Chi-Chi. Oh, yeah, Bulma. Yeah, on the 10th day, we gotta get Bulma, right? Alright, we got... On the 10th day... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I got the same flippin' Funko. Except fuzzy version. Can you see that on camera? Is that Paul's Vegeta? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it. Even his tail is fuzzy. They just gave me the same Funko, but fuzzy version. So now I have three Vegetas. So for you Vegeta fans out there, you guys are gonna love this calendar. You guys are gonna love it. It's over 9,000. 11th day. Can we get a Boma? Can we get a Boma or a Frieza? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I thought I didn't have a Funko, man. I would have been so mad if I was missing a day. Oh, Nappa with the Scouter. The only Saiyan with the goatee. Yeah, I gotta say, I really enjoyed the Nappa fight. That brings back so many memories, especially how like savage Vegeta was at the end. So good. But yeah, Nappa finally made it. Oh, and he stands pretty well too. Okay. On the 12th day, can we get Boma? Oh, huh? Oh, it's another mullet Gohan. He's so glossy. Oh wow, even his armor is shiny. The other Gohan Gi, you can see the difference. So now we got two Gohans and also two Vegetas. On the 13th day of Christmas, are we gonna get a Boma finally? Maybe a Chi Chi, a Frieza. I think they're all gonna come before Super Saiyan Go Goku, right? They should, right? Oh! Raditz! Okay. The longest haired Saiyan. But this is nice. This is nice. His brown little armor. He had a very aesthetic physique. Quadzilla. I was honestly hoping a lot in Dragon Ball Super that Goku would have wished back Raditz, Cell. Raditz and Cell. And just threw him in the Hyperblock Time Chamber to train and brought him to a Tournament of Power. That's what I wanted. Maybe Raditz and Nappa, I don't know. But that would have been cool for the Tournament of Power. On the 14th day of Christmas, do we get Bulma finally? This is a very sausage fest, besides Piccolo. Speaking of Piccolo, <laughs> a different color Piccolo. It's metallic Piccolo and regular Piccolo. It's cool. It's better than some of these other ones. I think the one I dislike the most so far is the King Kai one. All right, on the 15th day of Christmas, so we have 10 more Funkos left. Can we get a Bulma, a Chi Chi? Or Super Saiyan Goku, or even just Goku in all his forms. Like, I'd be happy with like Goku in all his forms. Like Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Three. <laughs> and on the 15th day of Christmas, we got Tien. I wasn't stoked that he came back in the tournament of power, but you know he's OG Z fighter, so gotta have him. All right, on the 16th day of Christmas, 
Ouch. Bruh. Owie! Dude. There we go. There we go. I caught a glimpse of it, I'm not gonna lie. But, <laughs> if you got Tien in here, who else but Chaosu! AKA Rip Chaosu. Remember this scene, guys? Chaosu does not look like Chaosu. He looks very scary. His eyes are very black and very big. He is the Chinese emperor and also Tian's boyfriend. All right, 17th day of Christmas. We still don't even have a flipping Boma. We got Tian and Chaosu. No Boma, no Chi Chi. Like people who are in the original Dragon Ball 2. All right, next one. A Roshi again. Oh, it's a different style of Roshi though. I like the other one better. So it's Roshi with a cane. I wish I had Nosebeard Roshi. Alright, 18th day of Christmas. Okay, so Metallic Goku. And I can't believe that I got so many Gokus and so many Vegetas without getting Super Saiyan yet. If I don't get a Super Saiyan in this box, I'm gonna be so sad. Like, not even just a little sad, just so sad. 19. Alright, 19. <laughs> We got gloss metallic Krillin. Dude, and Krillin has so little on him that can be metallic. It's literally just his gi. This has got to be the lamest metallic I've seen. All right, Funko number 20. So what I'm thinking is, got a Bulma in here, Chi Chi, Super Saiyan Goku, but it would have been so much cooler to not have a lot of some of these metallics. I'll talk about that later. But on the 20th day of Christmas, we got Chi Chi. <laughs> She's even so angry that they waited for the 20th day to show her when she was there from day one. Or not day one, but super early in the series. So angry Chi Chi is on day number 20. Day number 21. I saw it. I saw it. And I'm not happy. <laughs> Everyone's favorite character. Yamcha. They waited for 21 days and they got Yamcha. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, all right, we're just gonna lie you down here. <laughs> all right, day number 22. Okay, Bulma. It gotta be Bulma, right? It gotta be, it gotta be. And it's not. It's a third Super Saiyan Vegeta. So I have four Vegetas now. So you guys are gonna love this pack if you guys love Vegetas. All right, two more. Bulma and Super Saiyan Goku. Bulma and Super Saiyan Goku. All right guys, say it with me. Cause that's the only way that this box can redeem itself. Bruh, you even got poor. You even got poor. But no Bulma. You got Yamcha. Yamcha's buddy, Yamcha's boyfriend. Like we don't need Yamcha in this, but it's okay. Cause we got Super Saiyan Goku on day 24. We got it. It's Christmas Eve. You're sitting with your family by the fire and you pull out Super Saiyan Goku. Right? Are you feeling it? Are we feeling it? And it's Shenron. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. I gotta admit, it's kind of cool just for comparison's sake. As far as quality goes, let's, let's look at the quality. I mean, it's pretty much exactly the same. They have the same like disconnect in the tail where they like kind of glued it back to glued it together. Uh, the paint is definitely more sloppy on this one, but it's pretty much exactly the same. All right, so to round up this unboxing, mm, it's worth the forty dollars. If you guys are huge Dragon Ball fans and you know want to do your first advent calendar ever, then I definitely recommend it. I mean, for forty dollars, this is a lot of flipping toys, a lot of like mini Funkos. Uh, what I don't like it, it about it is like I don't know why I got four Vegetas. I don't know why I got two Piccolos. Like I don't really like prize these ones, the fuzzy ones and the metallic ones. I don't think we needed all those. Um, Shenron was cool with day 24. I think Super Saiyan Goku would have been even cooler. Like, come on. Christmas Eve, you pull out Super Saiyan Goku and then you re re immediately remember Goku going Super Saiyan fighting Frieza, which was flipping epic. They don't need Poor, they don't need Tien, they don't need Chaozu. Like, they don't even have Boma. And yeah, I think they could have just added a lot more characters. They're missing a lot. The quality is okay. Um, Funkos in general don't, don't stand very well. 
So I wish they had like some kind of like plastic thing that you could stand them up. So at least while you're unboxing, like the whole thing, point about this unboxing is like you unbox day one for Goku and you just stand him up for day one and you day two and you just can stand them all up. And the whole goal is at the end of 24, you can have all 24 Funkos lined up. But these things stand so badly like outside of Shenron. Yeah, it's just too tedious for me. So yeah, they don't stand very well. But outside of that, like, I think it was worth it regardless of all that. I think it's worth it. If you guys haven't done an admin box, I would definitely recommend it for $40. It's not too bad and you get a ton of Funkos. But yeah, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. You guys will not regret it. Go check out the Saiyan Army Black Friday sale. Link will be down below in the description. For online coaching, email me, gokuflex at gmail.com. I am filling spots for the new year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, Shantanari. Aloha.